Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric V Tuber. And after about a week and a half of videos where I've been showing you how to install Unreal, use Unreal, import your MetaHuman, I want to build a dock down by the beach as well as put some boats down there. So let's go ahead and get started. In a few places, I will speed up the video so that you don't have to watch the kind of meticulous movement of every single piece, but I'll give you some tips along the way. Here we go. If you're not already familiar with how to use the marketplace, the marketplace is a great place for you to find assets to add into your environments. So let's jump in the marketplace and take a look at some of the things that I was looking to get for this build out. Now, two of the things that I know I needed was some boats and a pier. So if you just type in the search box for some of the things that you're looking for, like the word pier, I found this asset right here and I previously had uh, favored it and noticed that it is on sale. So great timing that instead of paying around $25, I can get the pier for half that. The other thing that I needed was boats. And nice thing about the boat pack is they are free. So there's a boat pack, from twin motion, it's free. And if you notice, I own it. And to own a pack, all you really need to do once you find something you like is click on it. And then you can add it to your project once you have either purchased it. And if they're free, it's kind of like you're purchasing it, but there's no charge for it. And anything that you find that you like, be sure to favorite it. And you can see there's a whole wish list of things that I have looked at that I plan on using for my future builds. Once you have the item purchased, whether it's free or not, it is added under this library tab. So I got here from going to Unreal Engine and to the library tab, and that shows all the different items that I can either add to a project or create a project from. And in this case, I've already added the concrete pier and the boats to my Eric VTuber main project. So they are in there. Now let's jump into the project and start our build. Now, one of the things that I like to do when I import packs to a project is make sure that I get rid of all the stuff I don't want. So after I brought in the boats, uh, I whittled it down to just the items that I wanted to add into my environment. This motorboat right here is the one I'm gonna use, uh, as well as the kayak and the yacht. But motorboat four right here, as well as some others, I didn't. So just make sure that you right click, and choose delete, and then right here, click on delete for the folders that you don't want. So keep everything nice and tidy, get rid of the objects you don't want. So I knew from the very beginning when I originally planned my environment that I would want this wonderful cove and water and to add some boats to it. And instead of just having some boats pulled up right here on the sand, I wanted to add a pier, which is why I grabbed the assets that I showed you. So let's start our build. As I mentioned, I've already brought in the pier and here it is in my project in its own folder. Most of the projects that you uh, purchase, whether they're free or not, contain a maps folder and you can see a sample of what the objects look like. So here's all the different pier pieces that come with that project. And I'm gonna use some of them. I've decided I'm not gonna use the ones with the fences, uh, but we'll bring some of those in there. So let's go back to our main map. Typically what you wanna do is go to the mesh folder and you'll find all the meshes there. You could click the parent folder and just type the word mesh. That's an easy way to look at all the meshes that are in those subfolders and see what's in there. And here's where I can see some of the items that I want to bring in. Now, before I start bringing in the pieces from the pier, one of the things I want to make sure that I recommend is that you set grid snap scale to 10. I think 10 degrees is good right here. Make sure that you have snapping turned on. Let's go ahead and shift click a bunch of these. And I think that's it. So let me just drag in these pieces. Pull them up. About. And I've got to start with my shore. And I'm going to put the first piece right here at the beginning of the shore. going to work out real nice there.
Okay, I'm just gonna look at my height, see where that is. Grid's turned on, but that's just kind of helping me visualize things. All right. Now, probably the most important thing that you're gonna learn out of this video in terms of techniques is getting these things to snap together and be perfect. You know, I'm eyeballing it right now, but I'm gonna show you a really powerful trick to get these things to snap right where you want them. I'm just really kind of blocking it out, I'm not trying to be very precise right now. I'm just trying to think about how I'm gonna do the, um, just put everything together. I like this piece down here, so I'm holding down the Alt key, slide a copy of it, gonna rotate it 90 degrees, and then move that into place. The techniques that I'm using for copying and moving is I hold down the Alt key and slide a piece away. And then I'm just using the arrows now to slide them without copying. Uh, if you remember, I've got my mouse button set up. I explained this in earlier videos, but if you want to rotate and move, these are these tools right here. But I've got some shortcuts right on my mouse that enables me to switch between the different ones. I think you can also, yeah, you can also use spacebar uh, to do the same thing, but my mouse takes me right to the piece that I want to uh, move. All right, so let's drop this one down here, bring this one into place. Again, I'm just kind of eyeballing everything, seeing what I like. I'll put this over here. And I think I'll use this at the end of the pier to finish. And that's my basic pier. Now let's go ahead and get some boats, and then I'll set everything into place. So that's where all the pier objects were, assets were rather. Uh, but if I scroll up to boats, I've got just remaining folders and there's two that I wanna bring in. I wanna bring in my yacht. I did bring in this previously, so it's immediately available to me right now. If it's the first time you've imported a big mesh like this, a big static mesh, it may take a little bit of time to load it in. But I think I'm gonna want that boat right here. I want my small little motor boat. right here I think I'll put a jet ski right there how about another jet ski behind this Not sure if I want this boat here or over here. Let's make sure there's enough room. That boat was here. This boat was here. I think that's gonna look great, except I probably don't need this piece right here. So let's get rid of this one and swap it with this guy right here. So Alt, slide, rotate. Pretty happy with how this is. Now what I'm just gonna do is move at hyperspeed so that you guys don't have to watch me drop all these little pieces perfectly in the right space. Let me try this technique again that I've been using to align the vertices. I hold down Alt, V and then click the closest vertice. So that's right there. If you notice if I go to the middle ball and I move this around, I can free form move it. If I hold down Alt V, it shows me these little vertices and I wanna get it right there in that corner. So now that it's in the corner, I'm gonna release everything, click on one of the arrows and, I'm sorry, right click on one of the arrows and go down to pivot and set the pivot offset. So now it's, going to stay right here instead of moving back to the original location. Let's see if this is easy to get this piece to move into place by holding down the V key and then sliding. Let me bring it a little closer. And then you see when I hold down V and try to move it, it's showing the little blue dots, the vertices in the other area. And I can get that right into place. Voila. 
All right, now that I've got the dock done, the boat's put into place, jet skis, I think I'll finish off by, I did save a nice little kayak. And let's put that on the shore with, actually, let's put it over here. And just bring that over. Go down closer to see what it looks like. You know, I got to get my exercise, so nice little kayak's good. Remember, we can always take an object, raise it up, and hit the N key, and it will snap it to the ground. So there we go. Nice little kayak. And voila, we are done. Let's go out to the camera out here, click on this, see what the scene looks like. And I'm gonna eventually use this camera, so I do want to bring it back. Rotate it just a little bit. That we're done with that we'll click save save all on our assets that we have modified all right that is looking pretty good i think the last thing that i want to do is just fix the little sand right here so i'm going to drop down and go to the landscape tool so i'll change the mode now to landscape and i've got some sculpting that i can do all right right now my brush is too big if i do this notice that's just way too much sand so let me just take the brush size right here, go down to something a little bit smaller, and just fill this area in. And then I can use a smooth tool, just smooth out a little bit. Erosion is another nice technique. So between erosion and smooth, you can get this looking really nice. Now let's go down, look at it here, look at it from the other side, I'll make my tool just a tiny bit smaller. Just undo if you do too much, let's go a little bit, even smaller. Smooth that out so it looks really natural. Okay. And there we have it, a nice beautiful dock gorgeous yacht and a nice little power boat for me to get around when I want to leave the island a couple jet skis to play with with some friends and my kayak well that was a lot of fun I hope you stuck around to the end and watched me finish up the build of my dock and the boats I really enjoy working it's a very immersive experience it's really good on the brain very relaxing kind of like reading a book maybe playing a video game, and I really enjoy building these environments. So I hope you enjoyed watching me extend my environment down to the beach with a new dock and a bunch of boats. We'll catch you guys on the next episode.